Hello everyone, I'm Kerry Lou and welcome to Silver Style Studio. I'm guessing that the title of this video will provoke all kinds of reactions. Some people will be intrigued, some might say, thank goodness I'm not the only one going through this. And some may immediately move right on to the next video because they didn't sign up for any kind of vagina video. Before I go on, let me just say I'm getting over a cold, so my voice is a bit scratchy and I don't feel that sparkly. But it's really important to me to have this chat with you today. We don't often have conversations about vaginas on YouTube videos or on TV. And when it comes to women of a certain age, I think many people would prefer to think of us as having some kind of Barbie doll mound in lieu of a vagina. People especially don't want to talk about aging vagina challenges, shall we say. So many of us older women have unforeseen things happening in the vagina department. Unforeseen because society doesn't really want to talk about that stuff. Okay, my silver sisters, you probably know where this is going. I have to be honest with you. I'm embarrassed to share this with you. I'm embarrassed because society makes it embarrassing to discuss our vaginas, let alone 65-year-old vaginas like mine. Look, here's why I'm making this video today. A video that I know some people are going to feel uncomfortable with. I want to help any woman out there that's going through what I'm going through now. So if this video does help a couple of women out there, that would make me very happy. Because this channel is not all about how to do your makeup and hair. I mean, I'm not going to stop doing tutorials on makeup, hair and style, but I want this channel to be about so much more than that. I want this to be a place where we can help each other live rich, healthy and fun lives. So let's get to it. Over a certain age, the vagina changes. The skin gets thinner, drier and sex can be painful. Of course, I heard all about that when I was younger, that this might happen after menopause. Here's what I didn't expect to happen. A few years ago, I started to experience pain while having sex, specifically intercourse. And we have to be specific because there are other types of sex that are not painful. But let's not get into that right now. I felt like paper cuts in my vagina. Okay, not good. Whenever I went to my gynecologist and my regular GP, they suggested I use lubricants and they really couldn't have been less interested. And I kind of got the feeling that they were thinking, well, maybe you're at the age where you should just give up having sex. Determined to get to the bottom of this problem, I scoured the internet. And I eventually found what it might be. I was suffering from recurrent fissuring of the posterior fourchette. I hope I said that correctly. So let me just explain what was going on. Let's say this is the vagina. Here is the area where I was experiencing this very fine split. Now, just to be clear, my husband and I are not having wild, swinging from the chandelier type sex for this to happen. Just a little pressure and ouch, it splits. I mean, we could do workarounds, but I really want to have everything in this department working right. And let me add, this also occurs when I'm sitting for long periods of time or when I'm riding my bike, which I love to do. So. I asked my GP if she could recommend a gynecologist who specializes in older patients. She gave me a referral and I made an appointment. When I walked into the doctor's office, I was relieved to find that Dr. Morris was over 55 years old herself. Plus, she was wearing fur-lined Gucci loafers and David Yeoman bracelets. What does that have to do with anything? Not much really, but it made me feel much more connected with her somehow. I told her my symptoms and what I thought it was. I was also very frank with her. I told her, look, I don't want to give up having sex. 
She was so understanding and kind to me. She examined me and she said that my vagina did indeed have a hairline split that occurred with the slightest pressure. She had me hold a mirror so I could see for myself. Yowza, no wonder that hurt. She went on to explain that this was due to the thinning of the skin in this area. Okay, she said, here's the plan of action. First, we'll see if we can heal the skin by using hormonal cream locally. I was to come back in a month's time and see if I was healed. I used the cream as directed for a month. When I did come back in a month's time, the tissue did look healthier. But again, when the slightest pressure was applied, ouch, the splitting occurred again. Dr. Morrison asked me if I would consider surgery. Without any hesitation, I said yes. And she went on to explain what that would entail. Okay, so let's say this is a vagina again. Um, here is where the splitting occurs. So what she is going to do, she's going to cut away this little area of skin here. It's just a small section and she's going to make a horizontal repair. So that's what we're planning. I'm about to have the operation tomorrow. So bear in mind, you are watching this video in the future. Ooh, yes, you are a time traveler. By the time you're seeing this video, the operation would have happened. Wow, so weird. I'll make another follow-up video to this to let you know how it went. I really hope this video helps other women who may be going through the same thing or something similar. If you're experiencing any kind of vaginal pain, dryness or other mature vagina issues, please talk to your doctor about it. And if they're not interested, change doctors. If you support women talking about their vaginas for the greater good on YouTube, please leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. I'll be back soon and I'll let you know how this works out. Please wish me luck. Peace out. See you next time.